Hello and welcome to Easyonics. I am Martin Diakater. In this video, we have something very important to discuss. Propellers. Yes, they're actually very important in the airplane industry. A lot of airplanes make use of propellers. Now, what I want to talk about is a non-very normally see on propellers. And I'm hoping this video helps the newbie in aeromodeling understand propellers much better. Now, before I go any further, I'd like you to observe the propellers I have on my table. I have an array of propellers here, different dimensions. This propeller is labeled 12 by 6. Now, what that means is it is 12 inches long and 6 inches in pitch. The other propellers I have are 11 by 7, 9 by 6, 8 by 6, a 60 45, a 5 by 4 by 4, a 45 40, and an 80 40 by 3s. This propeller in my hand is 12 by 6. What that means is it is 12 inches long and when I place it beside this 12 inch ruler, we'll see that they're just about the same length, right? Now, 6 inches in pitch simply means when this propeller rotates uh, one revolution, you know, one complete rotation, it is expected to cover um, 6 inches of horizontal distance. Now, the 11 by 7 simply means it is an 11 inch propeller in length and a 7 inch pitch propeller. The 8x6 is just about the same, 8 inches in length and 6 inches in pitch. The 6045 now looks a little different, but not to worry, it's easy, we just have to separate the numbers in two. So we have 60 on the left hand side and 45 on the right hand side, and then we put a, a dot in between the numbers. Now we have 6.0 and 4.5. Now we interpret this as a 6.0 inch a, a, a long propeller and a 4.5 um, inch propeller pitch, you know. So the propeller is 6.0 inches long and 4.5 inches in pitch. Now I have a, four, a 5 by 4 by 4. Simply means the propeller is 5 inches long, 4 inches in pitch and a 4 bladed propeller. Now I have the 45 40, just like I said, a 4.5 inch long propeller and a 4.0 inch propeller pitch. Now the 8040 times 3s, just about the same, 8.0 inches in length, 4.0 inches in pitch, and a three bladed propeller. All right, now let's compare two propellers that are just about the same. I have this 8 inch propeller and this two blade eight inch propeller. Now they're both eight inches long, but one of them is a three blade and one of them is a two blade. Their pitch, however, is different. This one is a six, um, a six inch in pitch, and this one is a four inch in pitch, you know? So 80, 60, 80, 40, three blade, two blade. Now, do you think the extra blade on this is going to add more power to this propeller and make it more powerful than this? Because we already know that this propeller is obviously going to be faster than this one. But this is a three blade. Is this going to be more powerful than this two bladed propeller? Let's go to the field and find out. What's wrong? Okay. What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay. I'm not having enough thirst. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I have changed the propeller from the from the three blade uh, to a two blade. Alright, let's go.
All right, so um, plane really flies great. Oh. All right, so we're uh, coming to land now. All right, so let's prepare for a very sweet touchdown. beautiful landing and uh, the play drop went great all right guys so we just returned from the flying field right and we noticed that the two-bladed propeller performed better than the three-bladed propeller yeah this is because blade count has nothing to do with the pitch of a propeller now this propeller is always going to travel faster than this one increasing the blade count of a propeller simply means distributing the load the lift load of the propeller in between more blades so each blade carries a little less load than the the blades in a two-bladed propeller now my ultralight requires the speed of this two-bladed propeller the 8060 to have a perfect climb out i'm using a very low kV motor an 1100 kV and with this the speed was just too little and the airplane could not climb immediately climb as fast as it should, I had to just quickly circle around and land the airplane before I crashed it. And I hope with this video you now understand propeller numbering and how it all works. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Alright, bye, see you in the next video.